Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious tacos de lengua. In case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. And guys, so first we're going to start by cleaning out our lengua. Here I already removed the back part, so that's all fat. Um, now to speed up the process, you can cut into small pieces, but I'm just going to cook it as a whole. All right guys, so now we're going to bring 10 cups of water to a boil. So I have my stove set on high heat. So as soon as that comes to a boil, we're going to begin throwing everything in there. All right, so once our water begins to boil, we're going to throw in our lengua. We're going to add one tablespoon of vinegar. And to that, I'm going to add about five bay leaves. Just crush them. A head of garlic. A purple onion. One chile pastilla, two Roma tomatoes, one Guajillo or New Mexico chili pot, one chile puya, one teaspoon of chili piquín. And so for our spices, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of margarine, one teaspoon of thyme one teaspoon of oregano, two teaspoons of whole pepper, and one tablespoon of salt. All right, so now we're just going to cover it, reduce the heat to low, and let that cook for about four hours. All right, guys, so while we wait, we're going to make our salsa. So I'm going to be boiling three Roma tomatoes, six tomatillos. So I'm just going to fill up my pot with water and then put it on the stove. All right, so I'm going to set it on high heat and we're just going to wait for them to come to a boil. All right, guys, as soon as your tomatillos and tomatoes come to a boil, we're going to turn it off and we're going to drain them from the water. All right, guys, so for our chile, we're going to be using a handful of chile de arbol. So that's between 20 to 25. So we're going to lightly toast them. So just be careful because they do burn pretty fast and you don't want them to burn, otherwise your salsa is going to be a little bitter. All right, so after a few seconds later, we're going to transfer our chile de árbol into our blender cup. And we're just going to wait for our tomatillos and tomatoes to cool down. All right, so in our blender, we're going to add one garlic clove, salt, and about one quarter of a cup of water. And we're just going to blend our chile until they're completely smooth. Right, so once we have blended our chiles, we're going to add our tomatoes and tomatillos. And just blend it all together until everything is nice and smooth. Alright, so once everything is nice and blended, we have our salsa ready. So we're just going to transfer it into a bowl. Okay, we'll transfer it. And of course, try it for salt and see if it needs any. And if it does, just go ahead and add it. Alright guys, so after four hours, our tongue should be done. So now just make sure that it's done. So poke it with the fork. Let me grab it right there. Just poke it with the fork and as you can see, the fork goes in super easy. So now it's done. So we're going to remove it from the broth so we can begin and chop it. All right guys, so as soon as you remove your tongue out of the broth, we're going to remove the membrane. So you wanna do it when it's hot, otherwise once it cools down, it is harder, so just use a fork. Okay, so I think we removed all of the membrane. You have your lingüita. All right, so now that we have peeled the membrane out of our tongue, now we can chop it. Okay, so now we're just going to cut into small little cubes. And like I said, your meat should be super tender. I took a little piece, and let me tell you that it is delicious. Flavorful. It's a little spicy, but just how I like it. 
All right, guys, so once we have our lengua all chopped up, um, now you can fry it, or if you're not planning on eating it right away, um, get one of the strainers and put it on top of the broth, so like that, it, the meat remains warm. Okay, but I am ready, so I'm going to start cooking my tortillas, and then we can begin making our tacos. All right, guys, I'm just warming up my tortillas with a little bit of oil, and then this is what I mean by keeping your lengua warm. All right guys, so once we have our tortillas, now we're ready for the fun part. So stuff your tortilla with the lengua. Okay. So now I'm going to add a little bit of cabbage. some cilantro and onion. I'm going to squeeze out some lime juice. And of course, our delicious salsa de árbol. And we're ready to enjoy our delicious tacos de lengua. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste is. And like I said, you guys, if you want to fry your lengua, then you can, you know, go ahead and do that. It's, you just fry it. Um, or you can also make it, you know, a la mexicana. There's so many ways you can cook your, your lengua, for, but for me, you know, simple, delicious, and so flavorful. So now for the best part. Cheers. Mm-hmm. So flavorful, so delicious, super tender. And I know for a lot of people, you know, the lengua, it's your tongue, but I mean, not your tongue, but you know, cow's tongue. Um, but honestly, once it's cooked, you can even think about the lengua. Mm -hmm. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious tacos de lengua. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family, and if you regret this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.